Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Ojet. I am a board certified emergency physician who practices emergency medicine. My life was touched very deeply by encephalitis, so I started this fan page to create awareness and also create a community of support of other people whose lives have also been touched by this disease. But first, let's talk about a quick definition and what is the difference between meningitis, encephalitis, and meningoencephalitis. You've heard about meningitis many times. It's a quite a common brain infection that usually involves the meninges. The meninges is the surface that covers the brain. So it's actually an infection of the surface or that layer of, of tissue above the brain. Usual presents with fever and headaches, and there's different kinds, viral, bacterial, even aseptic, which means it's not even infectious, it just causes an inflammation of the meninges. Sometimes medications can even cause this. Encephalitis is actually the actual brain that gets inflamed. Encephalos is the Latin terms for brain. So encephalitis is actually a brain infection, not just the surface of the brain, so actually more severe. Encephalitis can also be caused by many different viruses, by um, bacteria um, and other things that we will describe further. There's hundreds, possibly thousands different types of encephalitis. And then meningoencephalitis, in which is an infection of both the meninges or surface of the brain and the brain itself. So meningitis, encephalitis, and meningoencephalitis. Stay tuned to this channel um, for other updates where we will talk specifically about the different kinds of encephalitis, but also personal stories about the disease, recovery, challenges, and so on. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. For other videos like this video, please go to patienteducation.video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.